May I have your attention, please? Hello there. Now this, the whole locality might appear to be as uh, one of uh, the poshest uh, shopping malls, but uh, you would be surprised if I tell you this is a railway station. Railway station for none other than Ayodhya. The Ram Temple is coming up and this state-of-the-art railway station lit up with the natural sunlight is uh, almost ready to be inaugurated on 30th of December by none other than Prime Minister Narendra Modi. The work is under process, uh, under progress and several stations, almost uh, 12 to 15 gates are here which uh, would take uh, the visitors, the travellers to the railway platform. Waiting rooms, dormitories, both for male and female, exclusive facilities for dining. Talking about uh, here is the list. Food plaza, waiting halls, uh, toilets, drinking water, staircase, escalators, lift. And then there is tourist information centre, passenger facilities, infant care, sick room. This is the new face of India, I would say. The new India that we often talk about something that is ingrained in this generation to demand the best and to get the best. The government is providing that not far away, just five minutes distance from here, walking to five to seven minutes, you would reach the grand entrance, the Singh Dwar of uh, the newly constructed uh, Ram Temple. 30th of December would be edged into the history books uh, in the redevelopment of Ayodhya, a place which needs no introduction now with international renown the place is all set to bring in lots and lots of devotees not just from uh, every nook and cranny of the country but also internationally airport uh, would also be ready on 30th of uh, december first flight would be landing from delhi that's the airport prime minister modi would be coming to ayodhya to inaugurate that airport and simultaneously he would be inaugurating uh, the railway station in the center of which we are standing as of now. So this is a whole list of the facilities that you would be availing at the newly constructed upcoming railway station Ayodhya Junction. That's the place where all the roads are leading and all the people of the country and international devotees too are leading. You saw the list for yourself, uh, there are uh, three levels to it. Uh, we have uh, the uh, ground floor, which will have uh, food plaza, waiting halls, toilets, drinking water, staircase, escalators, lift and whatnot. Uh, the medium, uh, the first uh, floor, uh, the mezzanine floor would have retiring rooms, the first floor, dormitory, AC retiring rooms, lodge for uh, re relieving staff and uh, station masters. So on the first floor, you will have uh, food plaza, waiting halls, drinking water, staircase, escalators, lifts, and uh, all important dukane, shops. You can come here. It's like a one-stop shop uh, for all your needs. And uh, no doubt, uh, entry to foot over bridge two and entry to foot over bridge three connects uh, the old railway station of Ayodhya and the new railway station. This is how it looks like almost uh, an airport-like entry, if you take a look at the pillars here. Officials uh, from uh, the central government, the state government of Uttar Pradesh, all are making a beeline here. They are here every day. There is a deadline to match also. And uh, needless to say, uh, the effort that is going on is something which uh, tells you the exact story, how it would look like when it is ready in its full glory and when people start coming here arriving to take a look at the newly constructed Ram Temple. This uh, is the track where uh, the trains would start coming in uh, uh, very soon and uh, bringing the devotees from far and wide to pray and to offer their prayers uh, to Ram Janmabhumi Temple, something which is uh, not just uh, being uh, looked forward uh, by the Indians but also from uh, devotees from across the globe. This is the railway station for Ayodhya Junction. Redeveloped, new ones, the, uh, the design, the motifs are all inspired by the Ram Janmabhumi Temple. 241 crores and counting 
is the cost that has been invested uh, in uh, the construction of this iconic state-of-the-art uh, uh, railway station which, which is capable of handling 50,000 passengers daily. That would be uh, the volume of the footfall in, at this station and also the old railway station Ayodhya Junction is also being redeveloped, new platforms are being put, new tracks have been laid, you see men and machine all at work, heavy machinery being brought in from across the country and uh, being put in uh, for, so that uh, the ease of the visitors, the travellers uh, is uh, never compromised at all and also this is a historic moment as far as uh, this temple uh, railway station is concerned because uh, as far as the connectivity is concerned, uh, mentioned earlier, uh, both uh, the airport, Maryada Purushottam Sri Ram Airport, International Airport and uh, Ayodhya Junction Railway Station is being redeveloped so that it can bring uh, passengers uh, and uh, also a lot of tourism to this uh, uh, state uh, of Uttar Pradesh, to Ayodhya specifically and the holy city. A lot to offer when it comes uh, to visit to Ayodhya. It's not just the Ram Temple, not just the Hanuman Gari, lots and lots of uh, temples, colour, uh, Sayughat, the Aartis, uh, the warmth of the people, the food, the gift items that you can take away from here. It's something that would be a traveller's uh, uh, paradise uh, come 22nd of uh, January when Prime Minister Modi would inaugurate it.